Let's give it up for John Shovel. Guys, give it up for Frank, huh? <laughs> I was sitting in the back being like, I want to call him Weird Al Frankovic so badly. So badly. And then I did. Uh, <laughs> Um, all right, well, this is a storytelling show, so I have a story for you. Um, this is a story that I generally tell. Uh, it's a Halloween-based story, and I do it in air quotes because uh, I went to Catholic school. Did anyone else go to Catholic school? Did you guys not do Halloween on Halloween? We did Halloween September 31st, so we would distance ourselves from the devil. Because, you know, God can't figure that shit out. That's my favorite part, that they're just like, this will fool him. But also, he can see everything. Yeah, yeah, but this, not this. He can't see this. So, um, it is 1992. Uh, I am a little seven-year-old boy, and it is costume day, a.k.a. Christian Halloween. And uh, I want to be what anybody wants to be at that age and for Halloween, which is a... Ninja Turtle, that's correct, a Ninja Turtle. Uh, so I tell my mom, I was like, hey, I want a Ninja Turtle costume. She's like, boom, I got you covered for sure. Uh, she comes home from the store and the costume that she brought me is just a turtle, no ninja. It's a regular ass turtle. And I've never, to this day, I don't think been more upset than when she showed me that piece of shit costume. And I looked at her and I was like, do you not fucking get this? like?" You gotta pour gasoline on me or something because we need to get this going, all right? I need to morph. And her suggestion, I was like, what do you suggest that I do? And she just goes, why don't you just do a bunch of punches and kicks? I was like, you don't get this, okay? You don't understand Halloween. I, I can't go to school, I can't show my face, uh, but I do. I put on the turtle costume and it is three sizes too big and it is not ninja at all. Uh, and I'm doing my best, I go to school, I'm cutting a wide swath across the playground of kicks and punches that I learned from karate that I learned from a man named Doug. So you know it's authentic, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I don't know why this happened in my school. Like there would be, when the bell would ring for recess, there would be a mass um, like exodus of the playground to get back into the school, right? Like all the kids would just funnel in the one door that we had for some reason. Uh, and we were not a well-funded Catholic school, so uh, the doors, if you would let them, they just opened all the way up. So what they did was they put um, these cement pillars behind the doors uh, just to stop them. So you just bang them right into the doors and then they put a bungee cord around them or whatever they had fucking <laughs> just sitting around. So uh, I get in the queue and I'm getting jostled around and I'm just in this turtle costume that's way too big and I get tripped up and I fall and my head goes in between the pillar and the door and someone opens it up and smashes my head. Just like I am I am out cold for about 30 seconds until I wake up on the ground and I'm just sort of moving around being like, oh, oh, and everyone's like, we get it, you're a turtle. Just And they flip me over. They're like, that's enough of this bullshit. So they flip me over and uh, I try to crawl into the uh, school, um, but it's too much for me. So I have to like lay down and have a rest. So about 10 minutes goes by and the teacher is like, where is John? We haven't seen him yet, come back from recess. Uh, so they find me laying down outside uh, and immediately my principal scoops me up and she takes me to her office and she calls my parents. She has to tell them what's happened. Um, she's like, I'm pretty sure he has a concussion and we have to go to the hospital. And my mom's like, I will meet you there. She's, my principal's like, great, I will take him. Um, so I don't know if you know this about concussions, but the only thing you're not supposed to do is fall asleep. They're like, D two, two things you're not supposed to do is get another concussion and fall asleep. Those are the two things. So my principal uh, loads me into her vehicle and we start to drive to the hospital. Um, and we hit some strange like day traffic for some reason. So we're just sitting in the car and it's warm and it's hot and I have a concussion. And so I just sort of try to slyly like tighten my seatbelt and then lean my head against it. And um, it takes a little while for my principal to notice 
that I'm starting to fall asleep. Um, but when she does, it surprises her, and her uh, gut reaction is to go like this and hit me directly in the face. Uh, like, she was like trying to, and then I slump over and she's trying to grab me. She's just grabbing everywhere. So I'm just imagining the people in front of us in the car watching a full grown woman in a powder blue station wagon beat the shit out of a human turtle. Like just wailing on this thing and like moving it around like it owes her money for some reason. So we get to the hospital and um, it's a good news, bad news situation at the hospital. Um, bad news is that a bunch of kids died in my city. Uh, the good news is that a millionaire felt bad about that and donated a ton of, ton of money to the hospital. So we had the nicest children's ward I've ever been. There's like fountains and greenery. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful. So we get there, we're waiting for my mom. My, um, my principal goes and she starts like filling out the paperwork, started to get everything started. So she's like, okay, you sit here. I'm gonna go check you in. I was like, okay, everything's cool. Um, she sits me down. I'm still wearing my huge turtle shell and she sits me in one of those like plastic seats and I'm not form-fitting to the seat, so I immediately slide out of the seat and hit my head on the chair and then on the ground when I get there. And so again, once again, I am out cold and I wake up and a nurse has run over and emptied a water bottle all over me. And so I just wake up and I'm looking around, and there's greenery and I'm all wet and all I hear is water and I'm like, I did it. I'm a turtle now, and now, now it begins, you know what I mean? So they finally, they finally get me into a room, they give me like a scan and MRI and everything. And um, my mom finally shows up to the hospital and she comes in to the room and she finds me, she's like, oh my God, are you okay? And I am absolutely bawling, like crying harder than I've cried in a long time. And she pages all the nurses, she's like, oh my God, oh my God, is, are you in pain, are you okay, what's going on? And what had happened is the nurses at the hospital were the nicest people of all times. So when they found out that I was just a turtle and not a ninja turtle, what they did was they took the towels from the bathrooms and they ripped them up and they made me a mask and they made me armbands and they made me knee bands. And so my mom goes, why, but why are you crying? And I was like, the towels are purple and Donatello's the shittiest turtle. He's the worst fucking one. He's the smart one, he's not the fun one. He doesn't even like pizza. <laughs> so that was the worst Halloween that I ever had. Um, all right guys, thank you so much. I'm Joshua, bye, I love you, bye.